Imagine a life-changing injury. Imagine the fear and unknown. The Houston Clinic Sports Medicine Team, the only physicians in the area with advanced certification in orthopedic sports medicine, treat sports injuries with innovative techniques. The Houston Clinic has helped nearly a million athletes live without pain. Imagine getting back in the game. Imagine the best game of your life. The Houston Clinic Sports Medicine Team. Welcome to Chamber Talk. I have another great show planned today, and I am really excited to have Dee Harrell with me today. Dee, thank you for joining us on the show today. Thank Dee you. is assisting uh, or working, I guess, with would be a better way. We've got a great partnership with, with you, uh, some of our local health care, daycare, child care facilities. And I want to take just a brief moment, Dee, if you would tell folks who you are, what you do here, and then we'll talk about our partnership. Okay. Uh, I'm Dee Harrell. I'm the owner and administrator of Intelli Kids Learning Center on Moore Station Road. I became involved in Quality Rated back in 2012. It's a, an initiative for child care facilities to increase the quality of the early childhood programming to enhance the, the overall experience for every single child. And it starts with infants. It is creating the environment where children play Mm -hmm. but, but it's, it's structured and it's organized in such a manner that they learn. And, and it's, you know, we do lesson plans just like real teachers do in real schools. Um, we go by the Georgia Early Learning Standards, which is called the JALS. We, all of our teachers get trained on, on the JALS, how to use the JALS, how to do lesson plans. Basically, you just set up a classroom and you offer a, just an incredible, diverse variety of materials so that the children have these incredible learning experiences and it just ties into getting them ready for school. Right. Um, and that's important. And it's important that as many centers and family home providers as possible kind of get involved so that Lawrence County stands out. We want to have the most, most quality rated facilities and family providers right. as possible in Lawrence in County. Lawrence County. So, and, right. and so where this all came in, in Dee and I have had this conversation, um, why would the chamber be involved in this? The chamber works with workforce education initiatives. We work with our, our public and private school systems. And, mm -hmm. and we realize and we see the need for, for children to enter into those grade levels already yeah. having some access and, and some training capabilities. And, and just realizing what else can we do to help um, it, it kind of a, a we, and we've talked about this as God's plan just happened. I was trying to look for ways <laughs> for us to talk about quality child care. I did not even know that there was a such thing as quality rated. And, and so I want to talk about quality rated again today a little bit more. We're going to have some folks on the show. Um, right. Some other daycare, child care providers here in Lawrence County that are either going through that process or have achieved that um, credential, right? but again, quality rated, and what does that mean? And let's even talk about it, Dee, we talked a little bit about um, what it means as far as learning in the classroom, but there mm -hmm. are, are um, financial opportunities and possibilities through quality rated as well. Precisely, well, the whole tie in with quality rated, number one is to increase quality. Mm -hmm. That just provide a better environment, a, a healthier environment, a safer environment, and more learning opportunities. And that does require money. Where the, the financial benefit, and this is if you serve CAPS children, and those are the families that receive subsidies from the state to okay. assist in paying for childcare. The, the tie in to quality rated, if you're one, two, or three star, there's tiered reimbursement for children that you serve that are on the CAPS program. Okay. Now, each individual provider can decide whether or not to raise their fees for all the parents, but you know, we, we're really in a, a pretty tight, restricted area when it comes to childcare. So the extra money is nice, but and that money's here today, and we hope it lasts a long time, and I think as long as we show improvement and we are putting children in the school system, 
that are a product of the quality rated process, I think the funding will continue. Now, is there um, funding available for the parents that, that have children or their programs and things that will assist if, them? If you receive child care assistance, but you have to meet certain criteria, mm -hmm. you know, economically, you sure. have to meet certain criteria. If you, your child attends a quality rated program, there is a 15% discount on the parent fee. So yes, it does help the parent to send their child to a quality rated program, but you know, not all centers accept CAPS, right. and that's something parents have to look at too. Um, not every parent needs CAPS. Right. Um, not every center or family home is going to get quality rated, right. because if you don't serve CAPS children, it is a, it is a, a very, huge financial burden right. to get your center ready for quality rated. Well, and let's make sure that, that we explain the fact in, in another part of why this is so important because legislation has been passed that says in the year 2020, if you're not quality rated at at least a one star, then yeah. your particular uh, business or, or what it will not receive funding from the government. You cannot serve CAPS kids, or if you serve them, you won't be paid through the CAPS program. Right. And, and some people are just choosing to not serve children who participate in the CAPS program. And, and, that's, and, their, and that's okay. That's okay. That, mm -hmm. but, but what we're trying to do and why it's so important again for us at the Chamber to partner with you, with these other organizations, there are people here in town that are running our daycare, child care facilities that would like some help. And, and right. we want some help um, uh, to not only achieve one star ratings, but maybe to go from a, a one to a two or a two to a three. We have five that are currently in the process of becoming right. quality rated. And, and Dee, talk to me a little bit about the number of um, daycare, child care facilities that we have in Lawrence County, how many mm -hmm. are quality rated, and then I just mentioned we have five in the process. We have five in the process. We have eight that are currently rated. Um, I think we're somewhere around the 50% with, you know, we have two home providers that are three star. And uh, both of our Head Starts are quality rated. Um, I'm quality rated, God's Way is quality rated, Miss Barbara, Kids Kingdom is quality rated, Tender Years is going through the process. They have to submit their portfolio in just a few days. And, and we'll hear from um, them later. We'll hear from okay. them. Um, we want to have as many, like we've already said, mm -hmm. and I think while we want people out there to know, not only are their children receiving high quality experiences and healthy safety environments. But the tie-in for me, because I've been in serving children 31 years, is what we're producing. What, what are we sending to the school system? What are our expectations in 5, 10, 15, or 20 years? Um, right now, it is really hard to get staffing in some of our right. centers. We are really struggling finding so teachers the more to awareness serve our children. we can create here, the, right. the better it's going to be for us locally, but also from an economic standpoint. Right. When we have young families considering possibly coming to Lawrence County, when we have mm -hmm. businesses or industries considering yeah. Lawrence County, the, the fact again that we will be able to say we're, we're the first county um, to take this on, I think, as a chamber and mm -hmm. a business community. We and, are. And that we can say we have more quality rated child care facilities in our county than any other county in the state of Georgia. And you know as a daddy, and I know as a mama, if I've got to relocate, or if I'm going to bring a business to your mm -hmm. area, my number one concern is going to be your children. educational right. opportunities for my children. And if I can come into a community and I've got a quality rated center in every neighborhood, then that just really opens my choices. Well, I can live on this part of town or I can live on this part of town because I've got a quality rated right, center throughout the county. right here in my, so, in my area. So, um, yeah, Dee, we're going to take a quick break. Okay. And, and what I want to do is bring a couple of ladies on uh, and chat with them. These are, are also child care providers. Yeah. Again, we have one in the process, one that is quality rated. And we're going to talk a little bit about um, how that looks in, in the daycare, child care facility each day. And again, thank you for being on the show. Thank and then you. we're going to bring you back on later. So stay okay. with us. We'll be right back. When it comes to commercial property, Century 21 Dirt and Carnegie has you covered. If you're looking for commercial property, have a look at this property at 1908 Bellevue Road in Dublin, listed at 125. This property has over 1,600 square feet is located in the city of Dublin 
and is ready for you to occupy today. So if you're looking for commercial property, see this property at 1908 Bellevue Road in Dublin. Listing agent is Pam Tillery. For commercial property, count on Century 21. See the property at 2626 Moore Station Road, listed at 995. This property has over 5,000 square feet. And listing agent and broker George Durden will be glad to show you this property today. If you're looking for commercial property, call on the professionals at Century 21 Durden Cornegay. The phone number is 272-1535. Log on to c21dublin.com and contact Century 21 Durden Cornegay today about any of these commercial properties. Century 21 Durden Cornegay, broker George Durden. Welcome back to the show. I want to welcome Barbara and Lisa. And uh, Barbara and Lisa, I've had a, an opportunity to meet you and work with you a little bit in the recent weeks. We've had some meetings. Um, and, and I'm happy to say we're, we're able to partner with you guys to learn more about what you're doing. And, and more importantly to me, how the Chamber may be able to assist you guys in your quality rated program. So I'll start with you, Barbara, if you would tell us a little bit about you. I'm Barbara J. Martin of Kids Kingdom and Kids Kingdom Academy. And KIDS really is an acronym, so it works great in the line of the quality rated. KIDS stand for uh, knowledge, integrity, diversity, and satisfaction. So you really want your parents to have a knowledge of what you're doing in child care. What's your main focus in it? Destated uh, quality. Uh, safety, uh, health environment. So that covers that knowledge. And then integrity, you want whatever you say, whatever your center stands for, you want it to stand. You want that integrity. If I tell a parent this, I can stand on my word. And then diversity is a diverse group of children. It's not just one uh, ethnic group, it's a diversity and then uh, satisfaction when they leave, they're gonna be right. satisfied with what they have. So when the quality rated program came on board in my center, it enhanced my program. It gave me a diversity of, of equipment in the center. They work with you. They sent a TA person in and that's a technical assistance person that helped you get each classroom started. You start with your nursery and you move up to your upper level. So mm -hmm. when they start, they make sure that infant room, because that's your foundation, you lay in a foundation in the infant room that's going to enhance throughout the center. Well, right, and I wanted to say with that diversity in that classroom, that can also mean diversity even in socioeconomics yes. or anything else. There's, you, you get from one end of the spectrum to the other. True. And so, and, and what a difference child care and I think this is why this became something that, that I'm, and I'm glad our board and the chamber is, is supporting this initiative and pushing this um, but it, it just kind of became personal to me thinking about child care and then quality yes. child care and there is such a difference you can drop kids off for child care you can feed them you can let them play take a nap and go home or you can have quality rated child care which leads into all these things yes it does and the main thing that I tell my parents Learning is very important because we never stop learning. Right. And I say Kids Kingdom Learning Center. I, I use that term because you will continually learn and we're learning as providers. Sure. And long as you've got a bridge and a communication gap uh, there, you want to close that gap. You want your parents to be able to trust you. And the higher your center is rated, the more parents you're right. going to have. Right. So when they find out, okay, you're part of the quality rated program, I've heard your name, so now that you're enhancing your center, then that's the key thing you're going to be looking. And as you stated, no matter what side of town you live in, if you've got a quality rated program, then you're going to cover all areas. And, and you know what you're getting you when know you what come you're to getting. that facility. And then you want the parent to be able to come and inspect your area right. you know they make an appointment they come in and they can do a tour or a walk through of the center to make sure okay uh, show me your infant room show me your toddler classroom or right. your preschool and when you got all that 
uh, equipment in and, and, and your room looks great, it's enticing. It's going to bring that parent sure. in and they really go enjoy it. And most of the parents, they can say, when they leave Kids Kingdom and leave their children, because at the end, in the early morning, we start off by ha saying, have a great day. Right. We want that parent to have a great day to make sure that child is well taken care of because you're on your way to work. You don't want to have to worry about whether or not my child is being right. taken care of. So that enhances and, and the kids don't even want to go home in the afternoon. Awesome, awesome. And Lisa, you are in the process of becoming quality rated. So I want you to take a minute, introduce yourself and your business. And I want you to talk to me a little bit about, and this is really important. I want our viewers to understand the difference in, and, and clearly want to say not that you're not providing quality childcare now, Correct. but congratulations that you are in this process of receiving this, this certification that says you meet these standards and these checks. Talk to me again, remind everyone who you are and about your business and tell me a little bit about that process. Okay, I'm, my name is Lisa Capelli. I am a director of Tender Years Learning Center um, in Dublin. Um, I've been the director for about four years. I've been in child care for about 10 years. Okay. Um, as for the quality rated process, it was very daunting at, when we first became ready to do this whole situation. It was very daunting and it took a lot of uh, persuasion to get the staff on board but once we started the process and as Miss Barbara said we have those technical assistants who come in they are awesome they they pretty much just tell you what you need to do um, they come in they take an inventory of your center they uh, say okay well you need this X amount of books and you have to have books of all different kinds. You have mm -hmm. to have uh, cult multicultural books. You have to have so many different things that you would not even, I would have never dreamt of the things that we have to have to satisfy that quality rated. Right, and let me back up just a second. These folks that you're talking about, so when you apply to the state and you say, I want to be a quality rated facility, I wanna make sure people are not scared and they know that, that help is provided oh, yes. To, yes. to hold your hand through the process. Yes. Very, very much so. And, and literally, they do hold your hand. They hold your hand. They, okay. they really do. They are awesome. They, um, they are there anytime you need them. You can call them and say, look, is this the right thing? How long of a process is this, Lisa? Um, it's uh, eight to nine months, okay. um, ten months maybe. Um, we submitted in... Um, February and we will I mean we started our process in February mm -hmm. we will be submitting on October 8th okay so um, we're very excited um, we my my main goal and I think this is very important is teaching the children how to speak using using language that they can grow with um, I think that's a big problem now in our school systems um, and, and if it starts off as Miss D and Miss Barbara was saying we have to start them as in infancy mm -hmm. yes. if you start talking to a child in infancy and talk to them like they are uh, an adult sure they're not gonna have that um, that hindrance when they get older they're gonna understand what you're saying because they've been taught to like that their whole life. And, yes. and so learning tools and, and equipment, books, those types books. of things to start that learning process even in even those infant years. Yes, yes, so. yes. And, and what do you see right now, either of you, what, what is the, one of the challenges maybe that you're facing in either going from a one star to a two star or for being quality rated to start with as citizens, as the business community, what are things maybe that we could do to assist you in your quest here? Sometimes the problem could be financial or just making sure your staff is trained. Okay. So you have to make sure that you educate your staff to make sure that they're on board with you. Because as it was stated earlier, once you get a good teacher, you want that teacher to stay with you. Because the main thing that I see every day is a routine. A child needs a consistent routine. They need to know when I go to school, I'm gonna have the right. same teacher, not a consistent change. Once you got some consistency there, and my key thing is reading, to make sure my children 
know how to read. That's okay. important. Talk to them. You can talk to them on a child's level, get down on their level, and you can still use correct English, but you got to be down on a level that they're right. understanding because we are an adults and they are small children. You don't want them to have that fear of you. Right. You want to be on their level. So reading is important to me to read to them. So we read to our children twice a day to make sure to make reading fun. Right. So once you make that reading fun and get that uh, close in that gap, it makes a wonderful center. And, and Lisa, you mentioned multicultural diversity in, in the books and mm -hmm. the types of books that are being read. You also need other items in the daycare facility to help you achieve quality rating status. What, what are some of those other items? Um, we need, um, we're, we have to have a certain type of, of doll. No dolls can have any kind of um, buttons or anything like that that can come off because of choking hazards. Sure. Yes. And, you know, all that stuff adds up. It's it very does. expensive. And, and Quality Rated does set you up with a few things, but you have to have a certain amount, however many children you have, you have to have a certain amount of toys for each child. If yes. you have, you know, three children, you got to have seven books for each ch child. I mean, right. it, it, it's, it's a wonderful thing. But it's a there very cost cost associated. Yes, So you guys were mentioning the other day some sort of toy, a ball or something that burst often or something. What is, can you remind me again? Oh, yes. The balls that you can buy at, at different stores around are, they're, they're inexpensive, but they don't last. Okay. Right. We need the good stuff. The good we stuff. We need the stuff that's going to last because you're going to have 25, three-year-olds kicking that ball at all different times of the day and it's going to hit the fence and it's going to hit the wall and yes. it's going to, you know, so you're just wear and tear. Replenishing, replenishing of, of wear materials. And, yes. and I say all that to say there will be a wonderful opportunity coming up on October the 11th, uh, the Chamber's Membership Appreciation Luncheon. We're going to dedicate that day um, to bringing items that folks can, can donate for the quality rated programs that 100% will stay right here in Lawrence County for our daycare child care facilities. In addition to that, anytime that someone would like to come by the chamber and, and bring donations or supplies that would go to this quality rated program, we'll be accepting those. Um, you guys have, have provided us with a list and that list will be on the chamber website if anybody needs information to see specifically. Maybe you can't remember the items we talked about today, but there will be a list on the Chamber website and folks can, can bring by those donations and uh, we'll be getting them out to you shortly. So I want to say congratulations mm -hmm. to both of you. Yes, um, we look forward to a great continued partnership yes. and, and hopefully in just a few months, um, we've, we've got five different um, community child care facilities that are in the process of becoming quality rated. We've got several that are moving from one to two or further. And, and so we look forward to giving a great update to, to talk about our progress. Thank you, ladies, again for being You're on welcome. the show. We thank you for thank having you. us on the show. Okay. Be right back after this short commercial break. Welcome to Pitch Toyota, downtown Dublin, where people go to buy great cars at great prices. We're a family-owned and operated full-service automobile dealership serving middle Georgia since 1947. It's our promise to provide you with an enjoyable, stress-free shopping experience. We have a full-service website that's fast, convenient, and easy to navigate. We provide a balance between the big city selection and the warm, familiar atmosphere of a hometown business. Let's go places. Welcome back to the show, and Dee, welcome back. Um, Barbara and Lisa were sharing with us some of the, uh, the opportunities that they have, and, uh, and even a little bit of challenge with, with some of the quality rated with things that you go through. We want to be real about this. We want people yeah. to understand this is not something that you sign a piece of paper mm -hmm. and, and all of a sudden you're a quality rated exactly. daycare or child care facility, but the importance here, and again, um, to us, from a, not only a, a standpoint of certainly we want to invest in the children, we want them to receive the best learning opportunity and the best start, um, but for our community to recruit a workforce and young families and, and to grow for years to come here. Um, so I want you to take just a few minutes while we wrap up to the show and, uh, and talk a little bit about Quality Rated. You are an ambassador for the state. We're, we're blessed to have, I think you're one of only 30 
Right, I think we have 32 state. now. Correct. So mm -hmm. talk to me a little bit about that role, some of the things that you guys do, the meetings that you have, and, and just the importance, again, of quality rated child care for Lawrence County. Yes, um, I'm the peer support network ambassador for our area, and there's a lot of counties. We meet quarterly. We just met in September on the 18th. We always meet at Oconee Fall Line Tech and the Du Bois Porter, Du Bois Porter Center. Mm -hmm. Center. Um, we have a we have 12 really faithful people, and and we have become really close. We share things. There's no competition. You leave everything at the door. We, we learn about staff turnover, we learn about the cost of losing mm -hmm. an employee, and, and that's something that really opened a lot of eyes. Our topics are genuine. Our topics are centered to help owners, directors, the child care providers I love it. to be more professional. So this is to do peer a better. support for the region. For the region, not, not just, not one just Lawrence particular County. community, one area of town, but anyone that wants Correct. to come. Tell me again when do you guys have these meetings? Our next meeting is December the 4th. It'll be at 9.30. Um, that'll be our last one for this year. We meet four times a year. You get two hours credit. So that's eight hours of administrative credit right there that and we have to have. If you're quality rated, you have to have 20 hours per year of training. So when as an administrator, you can get eight hours, I mean, just by showing up and having fun. Um, and, and it's just, it's a bonding experience. And quality rated is about everybody being quality rated. It's not about competition. And sometimes in child care, you, you get caught up in, you know, oh, my child left and went to tender years, or I lost this child. We don't play that. That's not what we're about. There are enough children in Lawrence County for everybody. Absolutely. What we want to do is quality rated is to get even more, right. you know? And the way to get that is to get the word out that we are a community committed to excellence I and early childhood. Right. When, when you have children, and this is proven, you know, 92% of what a child learns, they learn by the age of six. 92%. Mm -hmm. That means we as providers are really between parents, grandparents, relatives, child care providers, we're responsible for a lot of right. what these children become. Well, Dee, I want to say again, congratulations to you, Barbara, Lisa, all the folks that were at the meeting the other day um, because of just what you're doing. You guys are working together, we a are. support network, and, and I think to help, I'm sure, you know, talking with Lisa some, um, I think if she has questions, if there's things she's not sure about what to, how to, when to, there's a support network there here is. where everyone's <laughs> working together. So again, congratulations to you and all of the team there. I am super excited about working with too. you guys and, and the, the progress I think that we're going to make and, and the amount of time we'll be able to do that. Um, I always like to close the show by giving our guests just a minute to talk about their own business and, mm -hmm. and what you're doing and what's important to you. So if you want to take just a minute to look into that camera and, and share with folks about your daycare facility. Thank you. Um, I've been in child care, like I said, I've served children 31 years. We are in Telekids Learning Center, located on Moore Station Road, which is right beside Clark's Gym, really close to the hospital, easy in, easy out. And our quest is just to be the highest quality child care facility that we can be. We have awesome classrooms. Our classrooms are larger than our, have to be, licensed by the state. We accept um, the subsidies from the CAPS program. We have flexible payment options. We pretty much accept cash checks. You can do the cash out. Um, Farm just, animals, any, I'm just Yeah, kidding. really. <laughs> we, uh, we have a van. We pick up children from Southwest Lawns. Okay. We started the infant room. We accept children as young as four weeks of age. Um, we have two infant rooms, two one-year-old rooms, two two-year-old rooms, and a three and a four-year-old room, two after-school rooms. And even though the center looks big, when you walk in and see the individual classrooms, then you feel the hominess and you feel the closeness. Um, the majority of my teachers have degrees. The one that don't have to have a degree within 12 months. That's part of quality rated. That's the part that I really like is your teachers have to become teachers. You, well, I can, we can train people, but it's not like going to school and getting that academic behind you. Right. Um, it just means a lot. And you can tell in the professionalism when people have gone to school to become right. involved in the childcare industry. I think what we do is the most important job out there. 
Yeah, there's, there's no doctor, there's no teachers, there's no chamber presidents without us. Right, that's and where it starts. That's where it starts. Right. And I just, I love when parents come and just see it and observe the power of our environments. Well, and and, and the, I just love it. Again, we appreciate you and the entire team, the workforce, uh, the child care providers that we have. We've got a great group here in Lawrence County. Again, yes, we I, do. I thoroughly enjoyed meeting with a lot of the owners the other morning and I can tell there's passion in what all of these individuals do in their individual learning centers. So yes. um, again, we look forward to working with you and we look forward to working with you. And as, as we always like to close our show and remind you today and every day is a great day for business in Dublin, Lawrence County.